Ah, uh, the Midsummer Classic is almost here. And the starters have been decided, but finding a good batting order for them is one of the toughest parts. Today I will go over what I think the starting lineup should be for the AL and NL in this year's Midsummer Classic. In the number one spot at second base, we have Jose Altuve. Altuve has put up amazing numbers this year, and he deserves the number one spot because of his because of his speed and high batting average. Batting second, we have Mike Trout. Trout has still been an elite player this year, and in the All Star game, he has had a long history of doing well. Last year, he. The last four years, he's hit for the cycle in first at-bats of the All-Star game. Having him early in the order could be very crucial. Batting third, we have David Ortiz. Although he has done better in the cleanup, and this is his last season and, sh and should be taken advantage of, there is tough competition for the cleanup spot and other spots like this in the All-Star game. And Ortiz is among many to deserve the spot. Batting cleanup, we have Eric Hosmer. Hosmer has had a career year this year, being one of the AL leaders in batting average. This Royals first baseman could be going back to the playoffs, and he's an important factor in deciding his own fate later in the year. Batting fit, we have Manny Machado. Machado was a close call making it to the starting lineup this year, but he still deserves a high spot as he has put up Pretty good numbers this season. Batting sixth, we have Xander Bogarts. Although there are other players that deserve the higher spots more, Bogarts has still put on a league leading batting average despite his lack of power. He is still considered a fine tool player, and I admire him. Plenty of fans wanted Bogarts to go to his first All-Star game, and it finally happened. Batting seventh, we have Salvador Perez. Perez is still the best catcher in the AM, but has not put up amazing stats. He's pretty good at batting for a catcher, but there are plenty of other guys that deserve higher spots. Batting eighth, we have Jackie Bradley Jr. Bradley has surged his way to All-Star material. And if he can hit from this spot, he can hit from any spot. Batting last, we have Mookie Betts. Best somehow just made it to the All-Star game. And even if he's not batting in the best spot, it's still an accomplishment just making it as a starter. This is Betts' first All-Star game, and it's well-deserved. He's been one of the biggest sleepers in the MLB and put up pretty good stats over the course of the season. He is second in home runs on the Red Sox, behind only David Ortiz, who has 20, who has 20 on the season. Let's go on to the NL. The NL has even tougher competition, with Anthony Rizzo, Bryce Harper, and Buster Posey all in the lineup. I also think Paul Goldschmidt will make it as a DH, so this could be a very tough lineup to decide. Batting first, we have Dexter Fowler. Even though he is currently hurt, New reports are saying that Fowler could return to start in the All-Star game. This is his natural spot, and his speed helps him get here. He, is, it, he, he has earned this All-Star spot, and he's going to take advantage of it. Batting second, we have Bryce Harper. Compared to what he's done in the past, Harper hasn't done that well this year, so I think he loses out on the three and four spot to Rizzo and Goldie. But... He is still well respected by fans, and the fans voted him into the spot, even if he's struggling. Batting third, we have Anthony Rizzo. Rizzo has still kept his average up and, uh, and been a power hitter, even if people think the Cubs fans are biased and, vo and are biased and just voting for Cubs players. I still think Rizzo deserves a spot, but I don't know about the other infielders that the Cubs got until the All-Star game. Batting cleanup, we have Paul Goldschmidt. I think Goldschmidt is the best player on this bench, so he deserves a DH spot. 
he has put up high average this season, even though his D-backs have struggled. Batting fifth, we have UNS Cespedes. Cespedes has quietly made his way into the All-Star game, and he still put up good stats for the Mets. I guess re-signing Cespedes was a good decision for them. Batting sixth, we have Buster Posey. I mean, I don't think Posey should be competing for the top spots because A, come on, he's the catcher. And B, he's not even as good as fellow catchers Wilson Ramos and Jonathan Lucor this year. I think this is more of a fan vote, and you can tell, especially with Posey. These fans are not voting fairly, and that's one reason I don't like the fan vote. Batting 7, we have Ben Silvers. I think again with this one, the Cubs fans were being biased, so I didn't put him in too high a spot. He has put up a decent batting average, though, and can still hit for power. Batting 8, we have Addison Russell. I mean, Addison Russell's done all right this season, but come on, Cubs fans, don't ruin this entire All-Star game. Russell does not deserve the starting spot. He may deserve to go to the All-Star game, but start? No. This is his first full year. Batting knife, we have Chris Bryant. Bryant's put up some pretty good stats this year and definitely deserves to go to his second All-Star game. But come on, Cubs fans. Nolan Arenado has put, on, put up much better stats. It deserves a starting spot. Much more. That concludes our video for today. Please like, subscribe, and comment your thoughts if you enjoyed.